And <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a big kid, I know, but... Simple mind, I amuse myself. Oh god. Oh no. It's actually stuck on. Hey, it's Rob. I'm the KCC, the Kilted Kilted Craftsman, and I've got a few things running differently today. I've got a new wash tub that I just installed in my garage, so I actually have running water in here that doesn't come directly out of a... Uh, hose faucet. I actually have a sink put in, but the problem I have is I have no drainage in my garage. The nice thing is, is I have a planter box uh, running right alongside my sidewalk, well actually a planting area running right alongside my sidewalk, and I'm thinking of running a gray water line, and uh, just for a little bit of a change up, I thought I'd show you how I'm doing it, how I'm going to install one and see what your questions or comments are and see if you like my ideas. So come on along today and let's see what I can uh, mess up, what I can fix, and what I can do right. This is going to be my first time working with PVC plumbing, so it ought to be entertaining to say the least to see how many times I can glue myself to plastic. This is the new wash basin. Yeah. Wash basin. Those are the words I was looking for. They seem to got to have gotten mixed up on the way out. This is the new wash basin I installed. It is not fixed to the floor, but as you can see, I've got a water spigot back here and a couple of, oh, let me do this properly here for you folks, a couple of brass fixtures. A couple of brass adapters that go from, uh, I believe it is inch and a half down to inch and inch down to three quarter inch line to install to my spigot back there. But the problem is, and I'll bring the camera back out again, I apologize for the bouncy video. As you can see, I have a mess. I have to punch through the wall. Not a problem, I've got the drill bits for it right over here, but I'm not gonna get those yet. As you come out into my yard, as you can see, it needs to be cleaned up. It's been, these lovely trees that I have rain yellow snow all over the place, but I have a nice, this is where my water line goes in for the garage. So I can punch a hole straight through here and just run a PVC line all along this area and I'll be able to plant and run gray water to this part. This line going out waters all of my plants, my, uh, my honeysuckle, my jasmine, my trees. Tree seems to be benefiting the most from the water. Oh my God, it's huge. And then my poor little rose bushes, which do not like the heat, but they love the water. So they're still surviving, not thriving yet. I'm still working on that part. So this is the project that I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be trying to figure a way through the wall. I picked up some extra PVC piping. That's the bugger right there. And that's all I'm gonna run is a three quarter inch line, tap some holes in it not all the way through, just one-sided holes so the water will drip out into the area. And anytime I run that basin and dump water, wash my hands, lava soap is fine. It's just a little pumice. It ain't going to kill anything. As a matter of fact, it might help. Um, that's all that's going to be used for. I'm not going to be running any, um, any caustic chemicals in that sink because, well, 
You don't want them going down your sewer line. You don't want them going down your gray lot water line. This is all going to be eco-friendly. There's not going to be a thing out there that is unsafe going into the ground. So I'm going to set up the camera. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my water line so I have access to the holes and uh, let's see what we can do, huh? Okay, as you can see, I got my U-Band installed and the line that I'm going to be running out to the outside world. And it marks fairly well just above the cement line where my house foundation is. So I can actually safely run that through. I'm going to bring the camera over a little bit. Pardon the bumpy ride. And it looks like I'm actually going to have to detach my camera. Pardon again for a bumpier ride. And down we go. Okay. So as you can see, it does mark right about, I'd say, two to three inches above my cement line, which means I'll be above the two by fours that are mounting into the wall. If I need to shorten this, I will. Probably going to have to run it over because it's sitting right above my water line and I really don't want to damage that, nor do I really want to run pipe right behind it as in the main line coming out. I want to be a little bit to the left or to the right of it. So we need to plan ahead when I'm doing this line. It's got to go straight out, which means I will most likely have to raise it up and shift my tub over a little bit. I'll most likely have to raise the line up and shift my tub over just a little bit so I don't come out right on top of that water line. Because as you saw from the other side, the water line comes up out of the ground and feeds into the house. This is my main water line that feeds everything. So I've got to work around that. need to get fit and I'm doing this from the inside you get to watch from the outside lucky you it's a sunny day I get to fit the pipe through I know we've got a clean fit why is it not going all the way through what did I miss the wall apparently yeah <laughs> okay that's odd it angled a little bit Okay, that is as far as it will go. I see. Doink. Okay, I could not have planned that better than it actually worked out. The right now the tub basin is all the way up against the wall. That metal, that little tube is going to fit right in here. And this is actually going to wind up fitting flush right against the wall. I could not have planned that. I just could not have planned that. There's no way I could have planned that. that that's just gorgeous. 
because that's actually the stock size of the pipe that came with this tub. All right, I've got my PVC pipe out. I've got my blue soap. Y'all recognize the color and the shape? Yes, this is Dawn. As a truck driver, I used to carry this on my truck at all times because nothing in this world will take off some of the nastiest bugs that are out there quicker than Dawn will. It's actually something I advise carrying in your car too. Always a good idea because you have those people out there that uh, have shiny cars that like washing their fuel tanks or their gas tanks or various parts of their cars that are not windshields with the windshield washer. And you can get a lot of debris and you can get a lot of gunk and that's not quite working. That's really a tight fit. But anyhow, you can uh, get a lot of gunk on those windshield wipers or on those windshield washers. Uh, in my case, as a truck driver, I used to get diesel oil or diesel fuel on my windshield, and that was always a pain in the butt to get cut uh, to get out. So I'd carry a bottle of this and just a couple of drops on the windshield washer, the squeegee would uh, clean up my windshield treat. It almost looks as if this little piece right here is slightly concave going in, slightly sloped inwards. And I think the only way I'm gonna be able to get this on is actually with some help, which I don't have right now. Bugger. I really don't know how, I may have to just go on that length and I don't want to trim the pipe off at all, but now I can't get the thing off. As you can see by the line here, I'm only covering a little bit. I'm only covering maybe half an inch of that pipe. Maybe, yeah, about half an inch. So, that's a little blue soap didn't work for me this time. What will I do? Add more. Yeah, a little more. So I'm going to put a lot more on this, see if it doesn't stick this time. Make sure it's blue all the way around. Because maybe I just didn't have enough, uh, have enough soap on it. It's a possibility. I have gone too little before. And <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a big kid, I know, but that's a great sound. <laughs> Simple mind, I amuse myself. Oh God. Oh no, it's, it's actually stuck on. <laughs> um, I got it on all the way. <laughs> this did not turn out the way I had hoped. Um, it's assembled. Stand on it. It works. All right, so soap actually took it a little bit farther than before, but not by much. So I think we're gonna just have to call it good at, um, at about half an inch to an inch. I feel silly. I have a threaded pipe. I have plumbing pipe. I have plumbing pipe with a thread. I have a way to secure the pipe. 
so. And if I really wanted to, I could probably secure it to the wall to keep it from running away from me. I don't know if this will work, but as in all things in life, it's worth trying. The nice thing is, is I can hold it in place like this. And try <laughs> to thread it on. I have to be smarter than the equipment. And I also have to not get my finger stuck in the hole. That would be embarrassing. <sighs> Anything's worth a try, right? I'm shocked and amazed. An idea I had actually worked. Take a look. That's actually in there. It's secured by the wall. I've got a little bit of wiggle there, so I will have to uh, run some caulking around it. How I'm going to run some caulking around it, I have no idea right now, but I am going to run some caulking around it. Um, probably going to coat the pipe with um, the, the... Don't you hate it when you're trying to find words and your brain goes on pause? I have silicone, type 1 silicone, that I'm going to run around the outside of the pipe before I fit it into the hole. And I'm also going to run type 1 silicone around here to keep uh, bugs out from my house. So, hey, look, an idea that I had that I didn't think would work was worth a try. So, hey, what's the worst that can happen? You can fail. <laughs> it's happened many times before. That's how we figure out what works and what doesn't. What I've done is I've secured the ring on the other side of the wall. Before I put the pipe in, oh, bugger. You're gonna get to see it anyhow because I forgot to do something. I forgot something. I want silicone, not pipe glue. Silicone, silicone, same thing. Not pipe glue. Because I feel that's a better water barrier. So make sure that I have my little ring on this time because I'm sort of a goof and that would have been just absolutely horrible. Because the pipes definitely would not have worked without that. And it would have sucked even more because I would have had to crack that plastic on the outside. So I'm creating a good solid bead of silicone all the way around my pipe. I'm not skimping, I'm not going light. This is a heavy bead. Because I want this silicone to bunch up when I shove it into the pipe so it'll create a seal on its own. Stick my heavy duty nail back in the silicone gun. Run my pipe through the hole without touching the sides or trying not to touch sides. Fit it into the pipe fitting and shove. Sometimes you try to miss and you don't. All right, let's give this thing a good couple of shoves into place. All right. All right, that's a good, yeah, that's a good solid fit.
All right, final test. I've got everything plumbed up. I got the tub filled. Here we go. Okay, I've got no leaks there. My wife is laughing. So that means we might actually have a success. You put one of the holes right there so that's going through the brass. <laughs> I now have a gray water system. This is not forced, ladies and gentlemen. This is just gravity fed system. I'm going to recharge my battery. Ha! 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 Well, gang. I have to say that my gray water system was an absolute success. It took a little fidgeting, a little bit of fumbling, and uh, a lot of what I like to call redneck engineering 101. But all in all, it turned out really good. Uh, I've got a water line. My tub is set. It's set to the proper height now. I've got to put a couple of shims in, under the front of the tub so that the water flows to the drain and doesn't sit, it sits kind of forward right now. That's a little thing that I've got to adjust and it's no major deal. But all in all, when I put in either my jasmine plants or whatever my family decides they want to go right alongside that sidewalk, when that goes in, it's going to have an excellent water supply that will get watered daily because I am out in this shop every day. Uh, well, I should say every night. and. Um, it's a good way to feed your plants without feeding water back into the sewage system, which, to be honest, it really doesn't need that much. It's a good way to conserve water coming out of your hoses, so it's something you might want to give a try. If you have any ideas or any suggestions, please post them to me. Please email them to me. If you've got any questions, again, post them, email them. Cost? You're going to love this. The most expensive thing uh, that I bought 
was the tub itself, and I think that particular tub was about $50. And it came with all the water lines. The only thing it didn't come with was the brass attachments for the spigot and uh, the brass cap that I had to put on one line because it's a dual line uh, water intake. But all in all, that was the most expensive purchase. The pipeline, the attachments, those cost me, I think maybe $20. So all in all, $70 to get, to cut down on my overall water bill cost because I'm not going, going to have to water those plants when we put them in. Having said all that, having done this today, this was a short one day project and actually it was only a few hours long. The most uh, time that it took was waiting for the glue to dry. All right, this is Rob Baker. I am the KCC. I am the fully kilted craftsman, craftsman today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you a few ideas. If you liked my video, please hit that like button down below. If you get the time and you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you guys get notifications every week when I put out more videos. Y'all be safe out there. And I know I usually end my videos with be safe, be careful, take care of each other. But I think in the world that's gone mad right now and is trying to find its sanity once again, I think we should just harken back to the 80s and the words of two very goofy guys that had the right idea. When you're out in that world, just be excellent to each other, all right? Have a good one. I'm out. Bye, y'all.